Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my first non-live commentary. Uh, what you're watching is some footage of me playing Ghost Recon Future Soldier in the saboteur mode. If you don't know what that is, that is um, there's a neutral bomb in the middle. Both teams work to uh, get the bomb, then you take it to the enemy team's base and you you detonate, you just blow it up. That's the entirety of the mode. But uh, that's not what I'm here to talk to you about. What I'm here to talk to you about is what is going on in this game right now? My first, and I wouldn't say first impressions, but just my first experience itself with this game. And uh, excuse me if it sounds like a rant. I might go off on a tangent or two, but I just feel, I just feel like this would be a good topic for my first commentary. All right, let's start off with the good. The good stuff is. Pretty much, it's the better thing to go through first because it's a shorter list. <laughs> it's a shorter list, and it's a lot easier. Just start off on the right foot, and then get to the, all the crap that's been going on. Uh, good stuff. Start off with the first ever kill I got in this game after playing, I think I got done playing the third mission in the single player. The first ever kill I got was the, uh, got me the achievement for either killing a employee of Ubisoft or killing someone that has killed an employee of Ubisoft. I was playing on, I'm not sure, no, it, was, it wasn't this map, it was, um, it looked like an oil rig or something. I was playing, I spawned, I walked about, I don't know, 20 feet, turned, shot a guy with my MP7, got the achievement. That's, that's a pretty good start. And, uh, other than that, uh, the game has been working perfectly. I haven't had any problems with lag, I haven't had any, there's, there's no, um, OP weapons in the game as far as I know and uh, people when they're doing what they're supposed to be doing this game's experience is just it's something something that we don't have right now in um, in the multiplayer gaming scene because what pretty much what's going down is Battlefield 3 Call of Duty Gears of War other big names like that even though Gears of War is a third person shooter it's not really as tactical as this game is, even though this is a lot faster than the other Ghost Recon games. But it's a really great experience. If you haven't tried it, I would implore you to at least give it give it a try, because you probably won't be disappointed. And if you like if you like guns, there's the gunsmith mode. You can customize every single part of your uh, your weapon that you're using. Uh, there are quite a few guns for each side, which is great. Um, there's a gameplay style for everybody, and there's a crap ton of game modes you can play right now uh, besides even multiplayer, and within the multiplayer there are different game types. But I think, yeah, I think that's all that I can say that's good right now, is just when people are playing well, it's uh, playing well and doing the objective, it's awesome. Uh, and the gun's are great, and I got a free cheese. Now, let's, uh, let's move on to the next part. This next part is going on to the negative of the game. And it's, I don't want it to sound like it's a rage video, but it might sound a little a little bad. First off, I think I'll speak about the single player. Now, if you're watching my LP for the single player, you probably are what now about uh, intro and then two missions in or so. You know if you've been watching that this game this game has it out for me. I think that's what I can call it. This game just has it out for me in, in some capacity. I've had times where I will be just walking along and I'll get stuck against the wall. Not like stuck, like I can't get out of it, but it's just like a little, little, you know, like you bumped into something you had to stop moving. Uh, that's not a big deal. But then there's the times where, like there's a glitch that's going around where when you stack up at a door, your, um, teammates, one of them will go into prone and will crawl into a wall for eternity. It doesn't stop. And all you have to do is restart the checkpoint, but it's just things like that. And also, how repetitive the single player is. Like, it's essentially broken down into talk, do a sync shot where you kill multiple people and you don't really want to get detected, and then after that there are gunfights if you got detected, maybe there's a gunfight anyway, and then repeat. That's not really, it's not really <laughs> anything remarkable. Despite the cutscenes being great and the gameplay, when you are just the base gameplay of the game is is good. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, right there, someone rage quit, like the host rage quit because we were apparently winning 
too hard and they couldn't take it. But yeah, uh, back to the campaign. Uh, what else here? Uh, the, the other glitches... The other glitches, like, um, just little things like you get off of cover and you're running, or you run, uh, you rush to cover, and if you stop in the middle, you have to be really quick about uh, crouching or else you get uncloaked, or cloak taking a little bit too long to turn on, or people seeing you when they aren't looking at you. That one's always fun. Uh, let's see, what else is there in the, in the game? Let's just, I think that's enough for single player, because I, honestly, the LP is going to explain a lot more. Let's go to multiplayer. I don't know why... If they even implemented a implemented a thing where you can press a button and pick your path and it'll take you to your teammates or it'll take you to the objective, I don't know how people can see that this little uh, line a la Dead Space. If you have ever played it, when you um, put out your hand and it makes a that line right there, you can see it in the that's that's pretty good timing. I did not time that like that. But yeah, you see that line and that will take you. All you have to do is look at a person or look at your objective. And it puts a line on the ground that takes you exactly where you need to go. I don't know how people can go to an objective or even completely ignore an objective, but they go to an objective where all it is is either to defend it, just stay around it and shoot things, which is normal for most people, I guess, or you go over to it and you hold down the A button to capture it, and people will just ignore that. They will walk right by it, lay down next to it, they will do anything in their power to just make it so you do not get that capture. And that's really going to hurt this game if people don't smart uh, uh, smarten up over it. But other than that, the game... Uh, the objectives, like I said before, work just fine when you have a team. But it's just the people are just... Uh, God, they are, they are not anything to write home about. You, you really need to play with the team. Um, no, no real spamming. No bad stuff and no overpowered guns everything is everything that is working fine it's basically the people and the single player being a little cheap is is lame but other than that this game is pretty damn solid and i'm gonna enjoy doing more footage for this and more videos and posting the rest of my let's play but uh i'll leave you on that note and i'll see you next time people